All right, I'm going to show you how we use the Strike Lines 3D map out of Tampa Bay to uh, catch fish. This is uh, on my iPhone, and you can see a bunch of areas with missing data. The white lines is missing data, and then the colored stuff is where the actual data is. And if you come away, like way offshore, you start to get to where you don't have any data at all. And uh, that reaches the edge of where the strike lines goes. So I've been going around these little areas like this. And I've been hitting these ledges and these rocky areas with pretty good success. You can see how there's a lot of different depth changes there. And that's what all these colors mean is, is depth changes. And the lines are, for the most part, uh, ledges. Some, sometimes the ledges aren't as big as you would think. Uh, other times they are, they're really big. So, uh, you know, what I do is I'll, I'll sit here and look through. I'll find an area that I really like. And uh, let's just find something out here a little deeper. And I mean, this looks like a good area. I, I would I would go check out. So I'll hold my finger on it right there, and up pops at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it, but up pops details. I'm gonna go to details, and then it shows me the coordinates. And you can change the coordinates you want to see based on your Garmin or or uh, Raymarine or whatever you're using out there. And it shows you all the other coordinates that you can type in to use. And then I'll, I'll enter that into my GPS. And uh, I'll go out there and I'll check that spot out while I'm out there fishing. It's the only way to find new spots. And, uh, you know, you get higher quality fish in every new spot you fish. You know, sitting there pounding the same area over and over and over again. I don't want to hit that same spot over and over and over again. And it's just an overview of, of everything there. That's what you get with the strike lines. What you need to do is, when I'm catching bait, I'm throwing the net out. I'll get my bucket full of water. I'm not completely full. I'll have a couple inches of water in here. That way, when I dump the bait out, they don't beat themselves up in the bottom of the bucket. Uh, you know, the water provides a little bit of cushion for them to swim around in, and uh, that'll help uh, uh, keep your bait uh, more alive. And you know, you want your bait healthy. You don't want scales missing. Uh, you don't want them half, you know, barely swimming around. <clears throat> your bait. When it hits the water, you want it swimming like crazy, moving around. That's what's going to trigger the bite. So, uh, a couple more casts and we should be ready to go. I think we got a good batch here. There we go. Big one. Look at that. Yeah, I think that's a two and gold, B. Knowing you, you probably go for one more. <laughs> you always gotta go for one more, right? No, I think that's gonna do it. Yeah, bro, wow. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna pour all these in there. I'm gonna take some of them and put them in my, in my cooler. Because most of these are just gonna die if I fill my cooler up too much. Well, we got some big greenbacks in here. Yeah, I saw that. That guy don't know what he was missing. So he kept saying there was no green bags. Yeah, like, it's only thread fins. He's like, ah. Mm. And he bought humbugged away. <laughs> Look at that. You see how that water helps keep them floating around? Ain't nothing you're going to do about thread fins losing their scales. Wow. Look at that. Thread fins will lose their scales anyways. I'm gonna get my big greenbacks out.
big old green bag. This is a good old big one right here, baby. We use them for chump. Never have enough, really, but. Yeah. And if I can get away with throwing the net twice, that's a good day. Well, uh, that's a good yeah. start. Look at that. A couple of nice size ones here. Yeah, baby, we got some bait for offshore now. A couple of big, big ones, bro. Look at that. You guys know. Enough in there. <laughs> oh, that's dope, Chris. What'd you do with that? You did that yourself? Yeah. Split it off. I got it. jets going down and, and then jets coming out here. It's softer on the bait and it allows more flow. But I'm also mixing up the bottom with this other jet pointing down. And then I can use that to uh, to hook up a uh, water water hose water right? hose and then wash my deck off and stuff nice what's up fish huge fans captain chris weir here with fish huge charters and i'm out here showing you guys how we use the strike lines mapping um, i already showed you where we put the coordinates in and uh, i'm taking you to those exact coordinates that I put in and this is an area I never really fished. This is the uh, first time I fished this area. It just looked good on the strike line so I came out here and um, we've been killing it. So I'm going to give you a shot of what we got going on here in my setup. So this is how I like to have my setup. This is how I like to have my setup here. I got the strike lines on my phone and it's GPS so when you come out here you won't you don't have to worry about like losing cell phone signal it's all from gps and then you come down here and you can see that's the area i marked we're in about 111 feet of water and the bottom is lit up you know that, that's what you're looking for is that that color you see that thick red right there that means you're on hard uh, rocky bottom and there's a lot of plant life there's a lot of fish so that, that's what you're looking for when you, when you come out here and before I get to the action, I need you guys to go to fishhuge.com and book a charter, get you some sweet apparel. You can find us on Instagram at fish, uh, fish huge apparel on Instagram and uh, Facebook. And uh, please hit the subscribe button. Help me get some, help me uh, get some more subscribers. So hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the gear that I'm using today. I have a spin fisher V. 80 pound braid the uh, spin fisher v combo rod and reel 80 pound braid going to uh 50 pound fluorocarbon and i got that tied on with a uh, double uni knot and if you want to learn how to tie these knots you can go to kevin kemp with kemp outside and uh, on youtube i'll put a link in my descriptions and you want to know how to tie knots he, he does that he teaches you how to tie knots and then when and then I'll go down to an egg sinker. That's about a three to four ounce egg sinker. And then a nice beefy circle hook. And I'm gonna drop that down. I'm gonna drop that down with a big old greenback. One of the greenbacks that we caught earlier. <coughs> Check the size of this greenback out. I'm gonna hook this sucker deep. I wanna get them as deep as I can without killing them. I want them wiggling around down there, so I get them nice, like right there between the eyes. Drop that sucker down, let's see what happens. What? Yeah. Okay, so what do you do? Do you just put down the plastic? Look. Oh, it's right there? Yeah, see it's a long shank? Ah. See long shank? to some uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon. Just in case a fish comes up. Yeah, I mean, you, you never know. You get all kinds of different stuff with this, man. You just never know. Man, it got me in a rock or some kind. There we go. Hey, got him up now.
light drag, 30 pound test fluorocarbon. He's coming up now. What do we got? Hey, big old mangrove. Look at the size of that mangrove. Nice. Yeah, baby. That's some good right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's a thick ass mangrove. <laughs> I think that's the biggest mangrove. Damn. Another one. Feels like another snapper. Not as big as the other one, though. Lane snapper. All right. Nice lane. Check that baby out. Yeah, there we go. That's a good one. Get him, Alex. coming up with down there man it ate me up already oh yeah another good mangrove right here I, actually, I don't know that's fighting a little different I actually want me a couple of mangroves <laughs> whoa hey he got some life in him on that one <laughs> maybe he does got a little size to him come on baby he don't want to come up Oh, I came off! <laughs> came off? Right there, man. Nice. Doubled up. This ain't as big as that other one I had. Wait, why don't you switch that rod around? Switch that rod to the back. The back, the, yours to the back there? The back, yeah, right. yeah, then you can fish easier. Look at that stud, boy! Oh yeah, he's a baby. In the bay, I'd keep that one, but... In the bay, I'd keep it. Now we're gonna have enough fish. Hell yeah, look at these fuckers. Monster mangrove spot right I mean, here, bro. He, he, he is a keeper, but I'm not gonna keep it. Nah, nah, nah. Not when we're catching we're studs like this. Like this bro. Yeah, fatty. Look at that motherfucker. Damn, what uh, studs. Dude, immediately, bro. That little guy. That's why I wanted to go down quicker. Yeah, he's small. <laughs> like in the bay, boy, I'd be like, damn, that's a nice snapper. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. There's bigger ones down there. I want the big boy. Snapper. Hell yeah. You allow five of them, five mangroves. 
10, 10 aggregates. Yeah, yeah, that ain't bad, huh? That's the one. Triggerfish. Yummy. Oh, they, they good? Oh, yeah. What is it? Triggerfish. Whoo. That's what I thought, man. I knew there's some triggerfish down here. They gotta be 15 inches. And right now, they're just in legal. They're just in, uh, where you can keep them. Look at that hoss. Crazy. Hold on, let me take a picture. Big old trigger fish, baby. Dang, boy, that sucker fought good. Hold on, hold on. This one right. Badass lane. Beautiful. Oh, we just got smashed on this one. You see that out there? What was that? Oh, oh there we go. Get it, get, get it. it. Get it, get it. Get it. Get it, get it, Chris. It's on it. Oh, he got it. Oh, he bumped it. Dude, he broke the line. I don't know what that is out there, but he was huge. He got something heavy on here. Hey. Hey! Oh, wow, bro, look at that. How in the hell? Alright, now you know what's going on here. Oh, oh, we got it. That's you, bro. That's you. Don't tighten the drag. Let him. Yep, there you go. Let him run. Let him run. He's gonna run. That's good. I just caught your grouper. Be gentle with him, bro. Don't, don't jerk hard. Yeah, no, no, no. Yep. Follow him around. Follow him up and over your pole. Here, I got you. I got you. Pumping them. Getting tired. Keep keep that line tight, bro. Real, 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 real. Yeah, yeah. Real, real, real. Don't pull up so high. Keep it lower. Yeah, yeah. Down there. Now real. Real down. Real, real, real. Yeah. Now real, real, real. You want to real like five times faster than you're going down. Always keep a bend in that rod, bro. That don't mean that don't mean pull hard. That just means always keep a bend in it. So real, real, real. Yep. And sometimes you ain't even got to go down. Just real, you know. Right, right. You know, proper way to fight a fish is going to make all the difference actually landing it or losing it. It's close. What do we got here, baby? 
I don't think it's a shark. I don't know, man. You just never know. That's why we got to see him. You know, whenever it's making that sound, you're not reeling. Yeah, there you go. He just spinning the line up. So take it real easy on your pull-ups and real pull up real slow. Now, now reel down. Now pull it nice and slow. Uh, just a little. So we can start, I don't know, dude. He's digging like a shark. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. But let's, let's not, let's pretend it's not a shark. Because <laughs> I've seen weird shit, man, so. I know, right? The way that sucker was busting on a greenback, you never know what this thing is. On a greenback, you know what I mean? That's what yeah. yeah. Easy, easy. Real, 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 real. Yeah. Easy, easy. Now reel down. Yeah, not easy up, easy up. Real, real, real. There you go. He's staying deep. I don't even got color yet. Of course, it's going to be overcast now. You don't see nothing yet? Nah. Yeah, you're not gaining on them really. You're just spinning out. No, no, no don't tighten it up too much. No, 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 bro. Yep, yep. Right there. You got to fight them. See, you know what I like to do here? Uh huh? Is, is hold the reel a little bit with your hand, with your, no, your other hand. All right. With your left hand. You kind of grab the reel a little bit and then and then pull up just gently though because you don't want to pop them off gotcha and when he goes to take off you just let it go and let him let him peel line gotcha. he ain't getting you he's not a reef fish so he ain't getting you in the reef we just got to get i want to at least see what it is once we see what it is we can figure out how to, how to if we got to horse him or what i see a lot of head shakes like a shark yeah Dude, I want to see a giant Kobe come up. Bro, I want to see like an 80 inch Kobe come up right here. Oh, he's almost here. Yeah, he's, he's coming, he's coming. He's tired. Starting to feel it. Oh yeah. There you go. I've seen a little bit of them. Yeah, a little bit of it. I can't tell what it is though. Shark, no? I don't know, I can't tell. Get him up! Come, 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 go, 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 go! He's letting you. He's letting you take him up. Don't stop. He's letting you take him in. I don't know. It's big though. Whatever it is, I've seen a lot of white. Big white belly. It's really hard to say from down there. I mean, it doesn't quite look like a shark. Oh, it's a big tuna. It's a big tuna, bro. It's a black fin. Be gentle now, bro. Now is when we're backing off. We got, I think we got a big black fin, bro. That's why I thought I seen color. Yeah, baby. Hold your composure, keep him this way. Yep, yep, keep him this way. Not too high, don't high stick it. Yep, yep, right there.
Dude, that's a big black thing. Keep him this way. Yep. There you go. You got him. You got him. You good. You good. Keep keep him coming though, man. Don't. We're wearing we're wearing a hole in him right now, so we don't want to we don't want to give up. This is, this is, no, no, don't pull hard, bro. It's gentle. You trying to like yank up? Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Nice and gentle. There you go. You yanking on it does all kinds of weird shit, man. We don't want that hook pulling. Yeah, keep keep coming, bro. He just gave you some. Oh boy, this is the this is the biggest tuna I think uh, we fucked into. Blackfin tuna, baby, come on! You're doing a good job, bro. Keep them coming, though. Don't don't don't, don't grab the line. Don't grab the line. Come on, man. Keep them coming. I know you're tired, bro, but but you gotta you gotta work it, man. Don't Nobody jerk. Said it was easy, huh? No, no, don't. Yep, keep, keep him coming there. He's down there. You're just spinning out when you're doing that. All right. Come on. Working, bro. Go down, pull up. Go down, pull up. Easy. Easy. Reel down. Then pull up gentle so it doesn't strip the line out. So you don't want the line stripping out when you're, when you're pulling up. Then you're going to start gaining on them. Bro, put that bitch between your legs, like right up under your nuts. There you go. There you go. Fuck. Yeah, move your nuts out of the way and easy with them. Though. You don't want to jerk hard. Real, real, real. Well, thanks a lot for coming <laughs> that earlier. Well, I didn't know what's easier for you. <laughs> move your nuts out of the way. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Come on. Get them up. There you go. Now you, yeah, there you go. Keep him coming. Wicked tuna, bro. Keep him this way. Keep him this way. Yep. Keep him coming, dude. The second he breaks surface, man, I'm popping him, okay? So keep him coming. Holy shit, Chris. Come on, bro. You got this, man. Don't let that line loose. Keep him coming. He got him now, dude. He's he's beat. He's beat. I don't know who's beat him. No, or no, no, no. You got him beat, bro. Just just be gentle and, and don't let the line loose. That's the only two biggest things. <sighs> Come on, bro. Don't give up. Don't give up on me. This thing's fighting for his life, so. Man, I'm so scared to tighten that drag, bro. Look. Pull up. Now reel. Reel, 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 reel. Okay, now stop reeling. Now easy when you pull up. Okay, now reel. Now stop, I'm gonna show you how you pull up. Now reel down. Okay, now stop, 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 stop. Easy, 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 easy. Now reel down. Now, now, hold on, now, now, easy, 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 up. See, now we're gaining on him. See how you're being easy with your pull ups? You're not ripping it up. All you're doing is pulling drag when you do that. You're being easy. Finesse, bro, finesse. There you go. I'm spotting you. Finesse him up. See, now we're gaining on him. There we go. Keep him coming. Okay, you got this now, right? You understand it? Yeah. Slow pull up so that you're not pulling line out. And then now reel down. See, don't want to pull line out when you're pulling up. Yep. Now, see, now you're gaining on them. Now this fight's about to be over because you, you, you're getting them now. Now you're fighting them. See that ripping up like that? Don't get you anywhere. You just lose line. Keep them this way. Keep them this way. Pull them back this way. Don't let them go that way. Don't let them go that way. There you go. All right, keep going, bro. You're almost here. You're almost here. The longer we fight the fish, the longer there are better chances you got to get in the way. He, he's beat, bro. We got him. He's beat. Swing him this way when he gets close, okay? You stay down there. You stay down there. Keep him up. Keep him coming. Come on, baby. 
You got this. You are the man, bro. And who needs a workout? No, 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 keep him this way, bro. Don't let him go that way. <laughs> Come on, pull him up. He's almost here, bro. Like three or four more cranks, man. We got him. Easy, easy. This is it right here, bro. This is it. This is it. This is it. Bring him here. This is it. Oh, he's going to go again. He's going to go. That's okay. Let him go. Let him go. Okay, pull him back. Don't let him go that way. All right, good, good, good. Get him back. Come on, come on, come on. Right here. Let's go, let's go. Right, right, right. You got this, baby. Gentle on your pull up so that you're not losing drag. Reel down. Now, 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 now. Yeah, there we go. Reel down, reel down. Come on, baby. Oh, boy. I know he is. That's okay. Reel, 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 reel. Pull up. Now you got to pull up. Reel down. Gentle pull up. Gentle so you're not losing drag. You don't want to lose drag on your pull up. I know. Reel down. You don't want to lose drag on your pull up. Now reel down. Reel, there you go. Don't want to lose drag on your pull up. Good, good, baby. Keep fighting them like that, man. Now be strong right here. I need you. I need you to fight this thing right, right here. Okay. Okay. This is it. Hold them up. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Yeah, baby, there it is. That must have been See, a... that, that, that dude's tired right there. That Our GoPro a... went. We fought that thing so long, the GoPro went out. Yo. Bro, what was that? A half hour fight? I would think so. At least, maybe Holy 45 shit. minutes. Look at that bad boy right there. Big old yellow fin. Or uh, black, black fin tuna. We got big old black fin. Side. Oh my God. Woo, that's a beast, boy. We had, we had a Spin Fisher 6 out there with some 35 pound braid. Actually, that's 40 pound braid. 30 pound fluorocarbon with a long shank J hook. Look, this is the J hook we're using. Long shank, baby. Look, this thing's bent, bro. That's why you don't jerk hard. This is why you, wow. this, this is why you play your fish. And you don't jerk on them, man. You, you're gentle with them. Look, the line That's wasn't was even holding. frayed. That long shank, man, it keeps your line from getting frayed. But look at that thing bent up, bro. He smashed it. Y'all feel that on my towel, bro? Take a breath, man. Here, here. Here, get a drink. Here, get a drink of water, man. Boy, that fish don't wore Alex out. <laughs> You don't wore you out, bro. Can you imagine doing that and losing the fish right there? Oh, I know. That's why. That's why it's like, man, it's so critical to fight them. Be gentle, and I mean, that's how you do it. That, that's that's money. Look at that bitch. Yeah, baby, we did it today. I said we weighed that bad boy, huh? Check it out. This is what the Strike Lines app got for us today. We actually had three of these blackfin tuna hit our line, and, and one of them actually ended up coming set to the hook. We were able to get him in. Big old uh, red grouper, bunch of lanes, some pretty decent sized mangrove snapper there, and a legal size uh, trigger fish. Big old hoss blackfin. Yeah, that's what the Strike Lines app did for us today. And I did give out numbers, and these are the numbers that I gave out. And anybody can go out to them if they want, but don't do that. Go find your own spots. That's what the Strike Lines app is for. Go find your own spots. I just showed you how to do it. So no excuses. Get out there, catch fish. Fish huge.